Hey guys, it's Kyle again, and this is the Ghost in the Smoke variant for the HRM9 in Modern Warfare 3. So we've got another Battle Pass variant video. This one's got a unique design compared to the others. I really like this one. I've always loved the Halloween-themed content in COD. It's a nice way to end the game's life cycle. It's in Sector 4 of the Battle Pass. Yeah, we're just going to get into a game, and as always, guys, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. This is the class I made around the variant. I pretty much just changed the attachments for a rear grip and the Jack VFB, just for the recoil because it's pretty shit on this variant, but it is what it is. These are the perks I was using, and yeah guys, enjoy the video. Alright, so we've got the variant here, it's not one of these picture moving variants that I've already covered, but it does look so good. It's amazing how many of these look this good in the battle pass. I still believe this day overall does not have better battle pass variants than Modern Warfare 2. Oh. But some of the variants like this one we've gotten this season are among some of the best battle pass variants we've gotten over the past two years, past two games. Oh boy. I feel like the first three seasons of this game in the battle pass, the variants were kind of lacking. Some of them were good. Some of them were a bit more grounded and realistic compared to the Modern Warfare 2 ones. Because in Modern Warfare 2 Season 1, all the variants were just plain blacked out variants. It was shit. They were realistic, but they were just bland. And then in Season 2, they just went all out. All of the shiny, flashy, red, purple, all sorts of different colored variants. That intent and impact variant for the Victus XMR is still my favourite one to this day. It's a shame that we're getting arguably the best Battle Pass variants on this game in the last season when most people don't really care for this game anymore. But saying that, this has been a unique card in terms of the content we've gotten because... This game has consistently not missed or not slacked off in any way with the multiplayer side of content for every single season. So yeah, obviously people are not going to care about the game in its dying stages. I feel like because of how well received this game has been post launch, I feel like people are more likely to care about the content this season. Oh, yeah, what do you guys think of this variant? Do you think it's good? Who wouldn't think this variant's good? I know people don't like the Battle Pass and they don't care about it saying it's ruining COD. But let's be real, if you play every single season of COD and you complete the Battle Pass every season, you can get a Battle Pass for free. Because when you buy the Battle Pass, it's like a 1,000 or a 1,100. COD points and you get an extra 300 COD points for completing the battle pass. Obviously most of those COD points will be locked behind the paywall. So you'd have to buy the battle pass in order to get those COD points back. But because of the extra 300, you could technically not buy a battle pass, complete it and get those 300 COD points every season. And if you complete the battle pass without buying it every season, you would eventually get enough free COD points to actually buy a battle pass. Then all you've got to do is buy the battle pass and just not spend the COD points you earn on a bundle. And then you could just keep saving the extra 300 points every season. I know it would take a lot of effort and you'd have to be playing the game non-stop every season, but you can technically get this stuff for free. you just got to spend a few months grinding battle passes without buying them. It would be easier to just spend £10 or $10 on one battle pass and then just save the COD points every season. But basically what I've been trying to say is a lot of people don't care about the battle pass but I still care because this is some of the best content in terms of value that you're going to get out of spending COD points on this game. Instead of spending 2400 on two or maybe three variants in a bundle. Okay guys that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say if you are new around here be sure to like and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next video.